Hi everybody, Anita Kushwaha here, author of Secret Lives of Mothers and Daughters. I want to send a big thank you to Writer Unboxed for helping those of us who are releasing books at this precarious time. So a little bit about my book. It's a mother-daughter story told in two timelines. We have two protagonists. The first is Asha. She is an 18-year-old young woman who finds out that she's adopted. And that news is kind of a bombshell for her. It thrusts her on a journey of self-discovery. We also have Mala, who's a young scholar. And for her, it's her mother who makes a request of her that she doesn't want to acquiesce to, but she does for her, because of her great love for her mother. So throughout the novel, which is told in two timelines, we discover how these two characters' lives intertwine. And um, a little bit about the process. So it took me about five or six years to write the novel. It's a novel that made a lot of my dreams come true, helped me find an agent and sign with HarperCollins Canada. So it really is a very special uh, novel to me. And if you do happen to pick it up, I hope you enjoy it. I just wanted to share with you the epigraph of the novel. Um, one neat thing about the story is that both Asha and Mala read Jane Eyre at different times of their life. And I'm a great lover of Jane Eyre myself and um, was really, uh, it was a pleasure to be able to inject my love of the Brontes into the book. So here we go. I can live alone if self-respect and circumstances require me to do so. I need not sell my soul to buy bliss. I have an inward treasure born with me, which can keep me alive if all extraneous delights should be withheld or offered only at a price I cannot afford to give. Now I, I chose that as the epigraph because I feel like it is the lesson that both protagonists learn by the end of the novel. So hopefully I've given you enough to entice you and most of all I hope you're all keeping healthy and safe. Thanks so much!